As you recall, I led, uh, on 2nd of July, I led a high power delegation of security officials to Garissa, which included Mr. Ringo, the permanent secretary of administration, the commandant of the Kenya, uh, Kenya police, and the commandant of the administration police, as well as the commandant of the Kenya uh, armed forces. We held a closed door meeting with the Provincial Security Committee, and later I met the imams and the pastors from Garissa, and as well as women leaders, <coughs> where we had a very uh, fruitful discussions. <coughs> the actions that we have taken are as follows. <coughs> One, the government will step up surveillance in Garissa and the whole of Northeastern Province. <coughs> Two, there will be major changes. Major changes will be made of top, top security leadership in the province. <coughs> Three, all persons checking in hotels, whether these hotels are small or big, will be required to register themselves, produce identity card or passport, and also state their residence and where they came from and for how long they are going to stay in that hotel. We have also provided an additional four vehicles to the police, uh, ten vehicles to the administration police. We will also provide <coughs> a very strong security to all the churches on every Sunday or Saturday, whichever the case is, when people are conducting their <coughs> prayers. <coughs> and it was agreed uh, by the pastors that this was not a religious war, but it is element who are bent on uh, creating problem in this country, and we know it is Al-Shabaab that we have done this. <clears throat> and therefore, that have really brought down any suspicion that may have arisen out of the incident. Well, the police officers, I have said, are being posted immediately. They will be there, as well as the vehicles. <clears throat> we, don't, uh, we have not been able to catch up uh, with these people, but I understand two people have been arrested. They are being interrogated. And when the matter is known, it will made, be made public to Kenyans. Well, Al-Shabaab claimed, they have claimed uh, that they are the ones who did this. And therefore, we have no reason to doubt that they are the ones who did this. Yeah. Thank you very much.